like blood a story about a vampire who is a happy young couple will true love save their lives or not so start with the reading the text and the fear of the story the david and ima looked at each other across the table the young couple were happy the food was delicious the light from the candles was soft and the music was perfect david looked at ima's beautiful smile all the pain of his last breakup disappeared all his doubts and fears about love had gone his hand reached out and touched hers i want to ask you something david searched her eyes could she guess what was coming her smile made him feel brave she held his hands don't worry whatever it is I will probably say yes. He felt so excited. He was about to ask the most important question of his life. From the corner of the restaurant, the three men watched them. He sat very still at his table. He had a manner, but he wasn't reading it. Instead, his cold eyes looking only at the young couple back at the table. David suddenly felt nervous. Excuse me, he said to Emma. He pushed his chair back and went to the toilet. And he looked in the mirror. He told himself, "Come on, David. Come on. You can do this, mate." She's crazy about him. Feeling ready, he went out of the bathroom. He almost walked into the extremely tall man who was waiting by the door. The man's eyes were a cold, bright blue. His face was pale, with a sharp, pointed nose and thin, pale lips. "Oh, sorry," said David. "What? Which one?" the man hissed he spoke with a strong and the strange accent david had never heard that accent before for a moment david was confused then he realized what the other man meant oh this one said david hopefully this is the man's toilet david went back into the restaurant he reached for the ring in the box in the pocket it was this was the time to ask her the test the taxi ride home was wonderful the happy couple discussed their future life together they shared their sweet feelings about each other the night i asked you to marry me said david the night i said yes replied emma just think our whole lives together sharing caring he began loving giving emma finished his sentence they smiled at each other in the loving excitement you are so wonderful said david and you are absolutely beautiful said in i have never met anyone so lovely and kind i'm so happy scored singing they entered their block of the flats holding hands a tall man watched them from the shadows which one he asked himself he was the building he was exciting for a light to come on to show him watch flat was there one minute past two there it was the light went on in a third floor window he saw him for a moment as she closed the curtains how many times had he stood on a corner like this how many victims had he watched many corners many victims his pale lips formed a thin smile he moved out of the shadow the door and the press to the buttons for every flat the vampire was always pleased when people lived in the flat sooner or later someone always let him in Silly human, they thought you were someone's piece of skill. It was a kind of invitation, and that was all he needed to enter a home. He climbed the stairs to the third floor and walked them to the down the hall. He didn't make a sound. He could hear the young couple laughing and talking. He put his ear against the door. He could hear what they were saying, and he was happy. And love made the sweetest blood. It was so full of life and energy. I feel as I am in a film. She was singing more like a dream. He replied, "Yes, a dream. How lucky we are!" Yes, who will be dreaming about tonight? He said, "Who? Who?" Here, here, smells of roses. She's like an angel. Their dream was about to become a nightmare. The suddenly listening vampire thought suddenly he opened the door and stood there, showing the sharp teeth. The couple screamed and then held each other in the terrified silence. The vampire could smell and taste their fear. This was the taste. and how he liked it we also made it the blood sweater there's my wallet on the table there take it said david take anything you want i will take anything i want the vampire replied fine fine he won't he won't stop you i promise david cried you won't stop me i promise replied the vampire the light shone on the sharp the a terrible thought came to david and he at the same time look at these teeth is he a vampire which one the vampire is it can be only one the couple's eyes were big and afraid their mouths open in horror they held each other's hand in their stomach filled with fear all ready to night continued the vampire have drunk from three one more there i can sleep and feel young again the when pair moved towards them instruct may david step in front of the emma to protect him and gratefully held on to his back the vampire wasn't in a hurry he had plenty of his time who should he attack he asked himself which one thank you emma and quietly in david's ear for what you are doing for me 
of course well no. i'm here to protect you he felt proud as he said the words he, he could fight his vampire and all he needed was a piece of the wood or something to push through the heart he looked around for something to so brave to offer yourself continued emma sorry asked david what are you talking about oh said emma i just thought that with your love for me and everything david and the vampire looked at each other now listen emma there is no doubt about my love for you really she replied and she did not believe him but you can't expect me to just give him my life i wasn't saying you should she said it's just one of your options that's all well think of another one he shouted why why don't you offer yourself to him to save me this atmosphere in the room had certainly turned ugly the vampire was not pleased that fear and love with were now suddenly selfish arguments. Emma was very angry. I hope you were joking. Let's see how strong your love is. What a horrible man. What about the man, women I was planning to marry, offering me to a vampire like moon to a dog? You said my hair smells of the roses. She cried. All right, all right, relax. I was a little embarrassed to be having this argument in front of the stranger. I'm an angel, she said. And you cried. On shouting, must drink, shouted the vampire angrily as he came even closer. He wanted to make a quick kill. Then he could get away from these terrible people as soon as possible. His eyes opened the wider and his teeth were bare. Which one? Her David pointed at this future wife. Him, him, screamed Emma in his anger. Please, him. The vampire opposed David. She's young and sweet and said, David. The vampire turned to Emma. He is bigger. There's no one more of him. She pointed at David. Suddenly, the vampire felt tired. He had been killing for many centuries. Listening to them was depressing. How could he feel good by drinking the blood of the either of these disgusting creatures? He looked down at their terrified faces and shouted bad blood. And what with that, he disappeared into the night air and left him and David alone together, together as they had promised for the rest of their lives. So, uh, if you like my videos, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, and hit the button below of the like, share, and um, comments also to me. Okay, bye.